Greetings, fellow cyberdogs and fellow Minecrafters and fellow Minesquatches all over the world. This is the Lockabout with the Lockabout Please Let's Play Minecraft 1710 Terra Firmacraft with our second 20 minute tutorial for, called 20 Minutes in Terra Firmacraft. I'm going to get right out of this view. We are here inside our little home. If you caught the first tutorial, you will know where we are and you will know that we are in the process of waiting for our clay items to finish excuse me firing we're going to come over here get a drink of water remember that the uh, cattails here demonstrate this is fresh water that we can drink there we go and we're going to take advantage of this time to make a couple of tools. And this will be a good review for us. So here we go. Number one, divide right down the center. And either take off the two inside corners like that, or you can take off the two outside corners. But either way, it will make us two knife blades. The next one, remove all the left, all the right. And then the bottom corners, and that gives us a shovel. And then again... We're going to four corners here. The mouse is being a little fussy for some reason. Now we're just going to keep going like that. Okay, so there's Ape Lincoln's hat, and we just knocked the corners off. And there's an axe. And let's see. We've got a hammer, so I don't think I'm going to make another hammer. I'm going to make another axe. The axe is probably the single most important tool to know. To so knock off all four corners, and then you remove two knock off those corners and there we go and those will stack by the way all right here we go so we're just going to take our sticks and stick them up here and we're going to make our knives and our axes and our shovel and now we've got all that sorted out I'm just going to get them arranged in such a way that I can use them if I need to and let's see here yeah, I think that's that's okay at this moment. I don't I'm not too worried about it being fancy. But we're definitely gonna need more wood. When you know, because we're gonna we're gonna uh you know be spending more time working with the fire pits here. Don't set yourself on fire, by the way. And I'd like to kind of get rid of this tree right here. Okay, so we are officially done. Now to pick these up, all we have to do is just chop and it'll break. And chop. We could shift right click to pick these up. Here, I'll do that with this one. You just get yourself an empty spot on your hot bar and you shift right click on the item and you pick it right up. Now, what's cool about this right here is we're going to walk right over and I'm going to right click the water with it. Now, what I've just done is I have filled that up with water. Now, it is too heavy for us to walk. You see it just at, at the bottom, just above my, my health and stuff, it says overburdened, and I cannot walk. I'm stuck in place here because this weighs so much. So I can place it down and be able to walk, or let me pick that back up. There we go. I can take and put it in my back slot. And remember that that back slot is right where my right shoulder is on my character. There are no other slots, just that back slot there. Pow, there we go. Now that that is on my back, see, I can run around freely. So we're going to take that inside. And we're going to set it down, which means we now have water at home. How awesome is that? So that is one of the first big priorities, is get some water going at home. We're going to plant that down. We can unseal it. And there's our yummy water, see? We'll have to, we'll have, to have, of course, our jug here to remove that water. And that's what we're going to do now is pull these items down into our hot bar so we can take a look at them and see what it is we can do with them. Now, the jug... Of course, that's pretty pretty self-explanatory. That allows us to carry water. And so we're going to just right-click this water source. And there you go. It, see it? Fill the jug. There we go. Right-click the water source again and refill the jug. Now, if I want, I can shift right-click to set that jug down and store water that way as well. See? And I'm actually going to do that. Oops, grab my empty here. And I'm going to fill that. And that's the one I'll carry with me now. Our small clay vessel, if I have it in my hot bar and I right click while it's in my hot bar, 
while I have it selected, you'll see it gives me four little storage slots for small things. So, for instance, we could put our limestone in there or our clay or whatever. And in this case, that's actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the clay and the thatch and, oh, I don't know, uh, this dirt and the saplings just, just to, to put something in it. And, again, I can shift, right-click to place it down. See? Shift, right-click, shift, right-click to pick it back up again. Shift, right-click. All right, so same thing with our bowls. We'll use our bowls to actually make meals. And I'm just going to put three of them down on the floor here. But the fourth one I'm going to take and put in my crafting space, and it becomes a gold pan. Now we can begin getting some more minerals. We can start panning for minerals. I must eat. Oh, must I eat. All right, have some gooseberries. Hmm, that was not much, but it was enough to to stop it. But we need food now. We need food now. Get our gooseberries planted, which the gooseberries, all we got to do is just literally just plant them. I mean, we don't have to worry about... Um, but anything fancy, there we go. They don't have thorns, good. <laughs> Some of them have thorns and it's really startling when you walk into them. All right, now, let's just hop up the hill here, see what we've got around. We are going to come over here. We're going to grab our shovel. See, we're looking to see if there's any gravel over here. Here's there's some gravel, I think, I think. There we go, yep. And grab some of this. There we go. Six gravel. And why are we grabbing six gravel? I will show you. Hop up here. second shovel there it is all right now we're gonna take this gravel just like that and what we've done now is we have created a basic sluice just a basic sluice not a true sluice a basic sluice by right clicking on the gravel you can right click and just hold it and it's going to begin panning for minerals it is not only checking the actual gravel that you put down, but it is checking up to, I believe it is 90 blocks down below, and I think it's 20 blocks out. And, well, basically the size of the chunk down to a depth of like 90 blocks that it's actually checking, looking for jewels and native copper and other stuff. Oh, there we got some native copper, see? It just appeared in my hot bar. It's right next to... to uh, All right, we got we got a second mineral of some sort. What what did we get here? Uh, native platinum. What we're after is that copper. All right, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick how we pan, and there is definitely something. Oh wait, do I finally see? Oh yeah, there's there's a mob. All right, so we do have mobs. All right, cool. I mean, not that I'm overjoyed to have mobs, but just I was worried that we weren't going to get any mobs spawning. But that is how we begin the process of panning gold. I'm just going to grab a little more of the uh, gravel here. Now, where you grab the gravel from makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It is not the location that the gravel is taken from that matters. It is the location where the gravel is panned. Okay? So that's very, very important to know. So I can take this gravel, I can drop it in there, and go back to panning, see? There we go, a second native copper, and what we want is at least 10 of these small native copper. Because that will, each one of these is 10 units of copper, and we need 100 units of copper to make our saw. Now normally I'd uh, have a stack of gravel on me to just keep dropping it in rather than, uh, oh, there was a third one. Come on, baby. Now what we will do is we'll continue to do this until we get a message in white that basically tells us that this area has been overworked. In other words, that it's been completely panned out 
which I mean literally is a term. It's pan been panned out. That's where it comes from. Uh, saying that that we're not going to likely find anything else here. I am tremendously hungry. Tremendously hungry. Come on, give me a little more copper or give me the message, one or the other. There we go. The area seems to be overworked. You probably wouldn't find much. Now, normally what I would do then is I would move down... Um, one chunk, and then I would do exactly the same thing again. Dig down, put in the gravel, pan it out, and that is what we do basically for the second 20 minutes is spend our time panning in order to get ourselves 10 native copper so we can make our saw. You can see I have weakness too in mining fatigue. That's because I have no food. Um, I, am, I am very, very hungry, and those are the effects of being very, very hungry. What I particularly want you to pay attention to is first of all the shoulder slot the back slot basically is just above the right shoulder all right that's where we put barrels and uh, large ceramic containers that are too heavy to carry some large items like anvils and stuff have to be carried in your back slot they're just too heavy to carry any other way secondly you can see we have four crafting spaces but when the time comes that we're able to actually make a crafting table once we make that first crafting table this will expand to a full crafting grid and we will have that full crafting grid as long as we don't die now the top one here these tabs on the right side. The top tab is what gives us our actual basic uh, inventory screen here. The next tab down shows our skills and you can see I've, I've got no skill in, in most things here because I've done nothing basically other than than just gather a few basic supplies for these you know brief videos. The next one down gives us the calendar. So it's early summer, summer it's Friday the 2nd of June and it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, It's about 6 or 7 in the morning that the sun comes up and it's safe to go out. Lastly, down here at the bottom, what we have is these are basically the different kinds of food and um, whether or not we're eating sufficient amounts of them for the sake of our health. So as long as we're up in the green, we're okay. And right now we're, we're perfectly fine, but all right. We're going to, so whenever you're wondering what time it is, just go to the hourglass. You can see it's three in the morning. We have four Minecraft hours to wait before it's really safe to go out there. But I just figured I'd take the moment to be constructive. Um, and normally I would be sitting here actually working more vessels and clay and stuff, uh, which is what I will be doing off screen. All right, so we now have our 7 a.m. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that I can put water in with the jug as well as take water out. And I don't know if I had pointed that out or not. And that's just by right clicking with the jug. But all right, let's get a drink. And grab another one. And that's what I was hoping is that we would uh, actually empty this out because I wanted to show you we can also use this for solid storage storage here and we've got six slots and so I'm going to stick this flint and this dirt the jack-o-lanterns well no I'll take the jack-o-lanterns with me actually um, the saw mold mm, rotten flesh native copper and I think we'll seal it up and there we go so it's, it's now a sealed container but there must be food in our universe, or life is going to get very unpleasant. Hope oh, we got no creepers. All right. Hopefully, we have got some salt water nearby where we can uh, uh, get ourselves some seaweed, or because we don't have any berries yet. Well, let's just move on over this way and see if we can spot anything edible. This, my friends, is excellent, though. This is a hot springs. Keep an eye out for these because they're extremely useful. Make sure that you cut yourself a stairs down or whatever. But basically, if I hop in here and uh, I just hang out, I will heal faster. Um, you'll see that I, you can drink from the hot springs, but you can't carry it in a jug. But a hot springs gives, gives healing type stuff, and that's a good deal. Let's pull up the stone and right click. And now, top left corner, bottom right corner. See how we now have two points? Take off the two points. Now the bottom left, take off the one point, take off the two points, and we now have a stone javelin head. We're going to do this a couple times here. I'd like to, number one, show you guys how to do javelins, and number two, get some real food around and some hide. Having a hide will allow us to make a, a bed, so here we go. Now we're going to go to our, we're going to go to our regular crafting grid. I'm going to drop some sticks in there. 
and there are three javelins. Now, what's cool is they're set up in such a way that if you get them in, you get them in your hot bar, if you throw one, you'll automatically jump to the next one. See? How it automatically jumped to the next javelin in my hot bar? Yeah, you can run, cow, but I'm good. Where are you, you butthole? There you are. Yeah, that's the one. Oops. Hit him with something. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Any berries on it? No? Okay. Did we get some? No, nope, but it's elderberries. That's good. I like berry bushes. They're a good, good source. But here we go. Something we can eat immediately. If you use your knife, hit the base of it, and it'll cut it. There we go. And it'll usually try to throw it to the bottom of the sea. That's all right. Just go ahead and combine it up in your uh, crafting area. By golly, you know, what I can do is I can place those these two blocks, okay, as a bed. Now, taking my large rawhide, I can right stand what it, where I would consider to be the foot of the bed, and I can right-click it, and you see what I have here, guys, now? I have a bed. Look at that. The bed is too uncomfortable to fall asleep, but I have just now set my spawn point to my little hidey hole. You know, I was curious about what size... These nuggets actually come in, and so I, I wanted to look it up in here so that you guys could see. What we've been finding are the are the native copper nuggets that are small. And if I hold shift, you'll see that they have 10 units of copper. Now, the poor native copper has 15, the rich has 35, and the standard has 25. We'll find the standard on the surface quite a bit, and we'll find the small native copper nuggets while we're, while we're panning. All right? But as you can see, we have here our, our jug, our ceramic jug, and we're just going to move to that. And as you can see, we've got 16, 16, and 6. So that's uh, 32, 40. So that is 400 units of copper. That means we'll be able to make four tools. All right, we've already got our, our saw. Uh, right here, our saw mold. So we're going to uh, grab that out of there. Well, no, we'll leave that there for a moment. Because what we need to do is we need to make molds for three more tools, since we've got the, the copper form. So, obviously, after after a saw, the next most important thing for us to have is going to be a pick. So, in the second row from the top, you'll remove three at the center, and then you'll remove one at the side. And I'm just going to hold that there for a moment so you guys can see it. But that is how we use the clay to make a pick mold. All right. E and then uh, right click again now I am going to let's see so let's make an axe so start at the center right next to the arrow here and open it up all the way across okay now coming back one gonna open those okay and then there and there okay so you'll see it's the same exact shape as it is when we nap it out of stone, however, it's made by doing a negative space, okay? So, there we go, let's, um, got our saw, pick, let's do a chisel, which is really super simple, it's just right down the center like that. And there we go, I'm not going to do any weapons because the pick, the axe, and the chisel are going to be our best buddies in all of this, as well as the saw. Um, I am going to make one more item. I think I'm going to make one more water jug. Just so that we're firing a full pit. And here is how it's going to go. We will be going up and we will be setting up the, the pit. One pit with our... Uh, our metal. And one pit with our molds. So let's come on over here. We're going to take our jug of metal and we're going to place it down in, in here. And we're going to place that guy and that guy and that guy. 
and that guy. And then, of course, we know the routine from here. We need eight straw. And we're going to need the, the, the wood. And again, that's eight. There we go. And then, of course, as I said, we can use the torch to light it. Um, I'm down to one torch, so I'm just going to place that torch and then right-click on some sticks to make myself some further torches. And here we go, just toss the torch on. Now, the reason that I have them set at an angle like this is because when the first one touches off, they'll touch off in sequence. It's a great way to light them up without having to go through a bunch of nonsense. But there you go, so that's going to be firing, which will be making our, our metal molten and also firing our uh, clay molds. All right, guys, our burn has finished. We're going to come over here, and we're just going to bust this quick. So we pick them all up. We need to make sure we've got an open space in our hot bar, and we're just going to shift right-click to pick up the jar and immediately run inside to make sure we stay safe. And now, with our little jug selected, let's right-click. And as you can see, now it says copper 380 units, and it's got a little space there. So what we're... What we need to do is we need to grab our saw. There we go. All right. So first things first, saw. We just drop the saw mold right in there, and you see that the mold will fill right up. Bang. We just take that right out. Now the pick. And we are not quite going to have enough for four. So I'm actually going to do the chisel rather than the axe. There we go. And when I put my axe mold in there, it's just going to fill it with that last 80 units of copper. And it'll be not quite finished. But now we are in business because when we go to our crafting space, put that pick mold in, your, in there and you'll end up with the head of your pick. Same thing with the saw. Same thing with the chisel. And now it's time to actually construct the tools. So there's a chisel. There's a copper pick, and there's a copper saw. Kablam, just like that. Ooh, getting hungry. Eat a little seafood. There we go. There we go. And I think both our water jugs are empty, so we'll have to fill those. But that was the big step, guys, because now, with these in place, we are going to be able to start working with actual proper lumber, and um, we're going to be able to start working with stone. But I would imagine we're, we're probably out of our 20-minute of our zone here. Um, so this particular session has uh, entailed the second and third 20-minute periods of gameplay, 20 minutes of which was spent... Um, searching for some food, and then 20 minutes that was spent going around and panning. What I did is I, let me let me just show you here on the map. What I did is I actually traveled over here to where I got to where there's actual ocean, and I panned the beaches over here, and that's how I ended up with the copper, because this in here, the freshwater beaches just do not seem to produce at the same level as the saltwater gravel beaches do. So, But all right, guys, so we're going to call this an episode. We have managed to... Get our copper, get our first tools going, and in our next video is where we're really going to start busting this open. We're going to start using our saw and our pick and our other stuff in order to start building stuff that's going to take us from this primitive hole in the ground into an actual home. All right, so thank you for joining me, Delacaba, for Delacaba presents Let's Play Terra from a craft where we are doing tutorials to teach you how to stop being naked and scared. Because we now got our tools. When you got tools, you ain't got to be naked and scared. Yeah, Minecraft high five with water jug in your face. Whoosh. I'm out. Peace.